Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. I have my empties for the month of June. And in this video I'll go over what I've used and well, I'm not really calling them review reviews, but at least my thought process on them. So this is my new bag. It is a little bit harder to see, but it is rainbow stickers. This is empties <laughs> in a nice green bag. So first thing I'm going to pull out, and this is a little mundane, but soft soap, sweet honeysuckle, and orange um, body wash. And uh, it's got real orange extract formulated without parabens and phthalates. Um, moisturizing body wash and I love the scent. I grew up with um, honeysuckles uh, bushes and orange trees in my backyard um, up on the Mesa here in Santa Barbara so I am a Mesa rat for those that are familiar with the area. I grew up as a Mesa rat. Um, I just love the soft soap stuff and I do go back and forth between this and I think it is a pomegranate mango scent as well as my sponge gels, which leads me to the next item, which is the sponge gel in Sugar Crush. Love the scent, very pretty packaging. I hate to throw the packaging away, but it's garbage at this point. I have saved the little black ribbon with a snap on it because not all sponge gels come with it. They usually come with a little hole in the sponge part of it, but um, it's a very sweet, uh, little scent. I couldn't even tell you what it, they never tell you on the box what it's supposed to smell like. They usually do in the advertisements, but never on the box. Formulated with extracts of yuzu, edelweiss, and vetiver to moisturize, soften, and cleanse. Um, but usually on the, um, the website, it, it says, you know, what the subtle scent notes are, top, bottom, middle, etc. But they never do on the box. No, they never do on the box. The next item is one of my favorite dry shampoos, and that's the OGX, and that is the Argon Oil of Morocco um, dry shampoo. And um, it's got um, silk proteins in it, and Argon Oil from Morocco, light and luxurious texture. Um, and it just helps keep everything just looking nice in between uh, shampoos. And... Um, one of the things as a uh, perimenopause woman who's 57, um, I do go through shedding episodes with my hair. I know it looks like it's a lot of hair, but trust me, I know that it's thinning, especially when kitten loads come out in my, my brush. <laughs> so I do recommend the OGX. They have other scents. Um, my favorite is Biotin and Collagen. It's in a darker purple can. I cannot find that thing at a reasonable price. Amazon has it as much as $27 and that's just bleep. No, no, no. I am not paying that much for dry shampoo. The next item is when I do color my hair. Um, Revlon. Color Silk Beautiful Color in Black. And um, this is one of the least expensive uh, full uh, permanent permanent uh, dyes that are out there. I think it's under $4. Um, most of the other ones I see in the grocery store or the pharmacy, um, like CVS, they can be up where $9, 10 $12 for just basic brands like Fructis and, and other, other, other brands that are, are not super fancy fancy. They still cost a lot of money. And I get this off of Amazon, I want to say $2.97. 325 something ridiculously cheap and it does a really good job <laughs> um, and it doesn't look so stark that I look like a freak so <laughs> oh, just a little bit in there uh, the next item is hemp's in pomegranate herbal body butter I believe I got this in the May ipsy glam bag um, yeah, I think that's it. And um, I love the Hemp's products. They're they're one of my favorites for sure. Um, the other item that I went through lotion-wise was Burt's Bees Orange Blossom and Pistachio. Um, it was nice. I wish it had more of an orange scent than the 
more dusty, nuttier scent of the pistachio. But it was still, the, the feel of it was quite nice. I did go through the Derma E Essentials Radiance Toner Glycolic Acid in Ruby Bows. I'm just never going to be able to pronounce that right. Um, I went through it fairly quickly. Uh, I believe, was it an Ipsy for me? I bought like 10 add-ons plus the five that I already had. I think I got a free, a free gift. So this was either Birchbox or Ipsy, and I want to say it was Ipsy. And again, it's Derma E, so that is a very good brand. All right, let me get all the little tubey things coming out of here. All right, so the next was a Tony Moly Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum for the face. Their packaging is just adorable, and the color is just like blue cotton candy sweet. Um, it did its job, and I think it did a good job. I can't remember specifics at this point, but it did a good job. The next item was, I believe, out of the birch box, either for May or June. I can't remember. Well, I started it in June because I always put a little number on the top or on the bottom somewhere. And this was a Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. And it was. It, it was it was pillow soft. It, it wasn't um, cloying. It wasn't sticky. It wasn't heavy. So I think it did um, a pretty good job. And you can use this multiple times a day, and I usually do. Um, whenever I'm feeling slightly dry or my eyes uh, just need a little boost, um, I do skincare throughout the day at work. I, that's why I keep these little samples, um, like a serum and a moisturizer and a lip gloss or lip oil or something, um, hand lotion, etc., at work in a little bin, um, besides the one that's here at my bedside. So I think this one did a good job. Uh, the next one was a teeny tiny little one. <laughs> by First Aid Beauty Hydrating Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. It did a good job. It did a good job. Um, very, very wee, um, only three mil, 0.1 <laughs> fluid ounce, but it did a good job. And it, it um, when did I start this? Oh, I started it in May. Next, and the last of the eye creams is, I really don't know how to pronounce this. Byro, B-Y-R-O-E. Truffle Eye Serum. Um, this came out of my birch box. <laughs> eh, birch box. And I did get a duplicate because I got a duplicate of the April box. So yeah, um, I'm happy about that because I did like the feel of it. I like it when I can feel an eye cream doing a tightening uh, sensation, not just sitting there. I like it when I can feel it tighten. And um, I thought it did a good job and I'm glad I got a second one. All right, now the little capped containers. So the first one is the smallest one, and that's Belief, probably Belief, but B-I-L-I-F Moisturizing Eye Balm. This stuff seriously is the bomb. It is one of my favorite eye creams ever. If you ever get a chance to get a sample, get it. And if any of you follow CC of CC's Trial Save Life, this was one of her empties as well, so I think she likes it too. Um, the next item was a Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. Cute container, very, very cute. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Um, however, it felt heavy to me. It's a very heavy cream moisturizer. It did its job, um, but I've smeared it. I probably started it in June. Um, but it is a bit heavy as far as a cream goes, and I tend to more like the the water creams or the gel uh, the gels uh, for moisturizer and serums more than I do the heavier creams. Um, if I want a heavier cream, I'm probably gonna reach for a, a Sunday Riley and their their vitamin C cream. And the last of the little tubs was Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, and I'm pretty sure I got this out of um, Ipsy really can only come from one of two places, Ipsy or Birchbox. And um, it was like slime. You know the kid's toy slime? It has that bouncy sort of stick to your finger kind of... It, it was okay. The scent was okay. The texture was okay. And you can see the face I'm making? Okay. 
Um, I didn't really like that whole slime sort of feeling. I would have rather it be more like Elo gel type. Um, and I really think it's overblown as far as the hoopla over glow recipe uh, in general. Um, I know Ipsy made a big deal of it last month. Oh, look, 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 we've got a bundle. We've got glow recipe. I don't care. <laughs> I haven't been impressed with any of the products that I have tried from them, but you have to make up your own mind about that. Now, that's the bigger items. Now comes for all the flat goods. So, you don't want my color pop receipt. Um, invigorating foot sockies um, in a spearmint and tea tree oil. And um, this is by My Spa Life. I love these things. I could use them once a week and be completely happy. I think I got a three pack off of Amazon and I highly recommend it. It does make your feet so soft, but be very, very careful tripsing around your abode with these on because there is enough serum in there to make it slippery. Please be careful, but I do recommend these. They're very fun and they smell nice too. Uh, the next thing isn't a mask, but it is the Cleanse and Hydrate Facial Wipes. The brand name is Valero, but basically it's the Dollar Tree. Um, this one was watermelon and agave nectar. It does its job. It's $1.25. Can't really beat that for 32 um, wipes. So that's like a month's worth of um, face wipes. Now, it isn't as saturated as, let's say, the Pearl Lease. Uh, facial wipes um, in watermelon that uh, it has a bit more saturation to it. Um, but for me, who only does things with eyes and lips, it does the job. It really does. And I think I've got other scents um, that I bought from my last uh, Dollar Tree haul that I'm looking forward to, to trying as well. Now onto some face masks. Um, I thought I didn't do as well this month as I did um, the previous month in, in May. I thought I had a a bit more, but um, I think I did okay. I think I did okay. We've got a Tony Moly I'm Cactus, and I did this as a little loving taunt to Kimmy at Kimmy's Happy Place, previously known as Kimmy's Boxes. She's not a fan of cactus. I sent her one of these. I'm a brat. <laughs> Next is um, Glam Up Moisturizing Avocado. This um, was still an essence mask, but it, it, it definitely felt different for me. And you can leave these on for 20 to 30 minutes, so you can have a, watch an entire program with one of these things on, and it's, it's not sliding off. Um, it did a good job. And I followed it up with Nourishing Acai Berry. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I really don't know if I am. Um, these things do really well. Um, they smell nice, really nice. Um, and they've got enough serum so you're not completely dripping, but you do have some left over that can be saved for your do-it-yourself uh, sheet masks if you want. The next one was a mid-flower hyaluronic acid moisturizing mask. I have no idea where I got this from. I just know that it was at its expiration point and I was going to be damned if I threw it away, so I used it. So, um, yeah, can't really say anything about the scent. Um, helps wrinkles, you know, helps fine lines, filling in, you know, plumping up, etc., etc. Did a good job. The next one was a Sweet Honey Bear Mask, and I think I got this from Kimmy. Kimmy's Happy Place. I know she sent me something with a bear, but maybe that was the Christmas bear. But I'm going to give her credit for this. Um, yeah, it's a sweet honey bear, and it has a, a slight honey scent to it, so that was pleasant. I do like that scent. This next one was Natural Tox Apple Sheet Mask. It smells more like um, apple cider vinegar than apple pie. And I got this out of a Boxy Charm Friends and Family sale that opened up their website and their sale site to anyone. Um, and I got this uh, link from Mary Catherine Loves Cats in her community tab. She alerted everybody that, um, I guess, uh, members and subscribers uh, get first access, and then they opened it up to friends and family. And so I did pick up some lovely items, and this was one of them. So it has very cute packaging, a little bushel of apples, but it is a little more apple cidery vinegar than apple pie. 
Uh, the next one was Milk Essence Sheet Mask from Esfolio. Esfolio is one of my favorite brands, along with the Creme Shop and Holy Moly. And again, I do believe this one came to me from Kimmy's Boxes. Kimmy's Happy Place. You really can't go wrong with Esfolio or Tony Moly or the Cream Shop. Just about everything, all three of them do, just feel wonderful. Um, and, and not cheap. It's, it's uh, to me, a little bit more luxurious than some of the Dollar Tree um, face masks. I don't know why. Maybe it's just in my head that the price point is a little bit higher, but... Um, I think they put a little bit more uh, serum in it, and I think the ingredients are uh, a little bit higher uh, elevated level. But speaking of the cream shop, or the creme shop, we have the Bulgarian Rose Face Mask. This was um, in part of a, a collaboration that I did with Charmaine of Charmaine's Staycation. We both got it in our Ipsy bags, and we went, oh, time for a collab. So that was my first international collab. So <laughs> up in our neighbors to the north, Charmaine's in Canada, and I'm down here in Cali. So one CA to another CA. <laughs> uh, the next one was a Glam Glow Glow Lace. Um, so there is one thing I did like about Glam Glow. Um, so <laughs> I like the mask. I felt pretty. I felt sexy wearing this, and I don't usually say stuff like that. So it was a delicate little mask, and... Uh, yeah, I really liked it. I would definitely, definitely get it again. And it's good for collabs, too. Uh, the next item is a Dollar Tree mask, and that's in the scent of grape. O-M-G. Get this mask. It smells so good. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. It is definitely grape-oriented. Not like wine grape-oriented, but like the best fruity popsicle grape Ever. And uh, if I ever get a chance to go to the Dollar Tree again, I think I have one more. This is a delicious scent. It truly is. And I just just felt like a little kid wearing it again. I smell like a popsicle. So <laughs> um, the next item that I did, and we're coming to the end here. <laughs> I do tend to be running along today. Is a, a Freeman Repairing Honey Hair Mask. Um, it smelled good. I can't remember at this point what it did for my hair. Um, I do have uh, little disposable hair caps that when I do wear a hair mask that I can put on and then go throw it away and not worry about it. Um, but yeah, this was um, to help repair and condition hair. You leave on for three to five minutes. Um, and with as much hair as I have, despite the fact that it's thinning, this barely, <laughs> this barely covers this much hair. <laughs> But I like it and I recommend it. And then I need to do more of these. I need to take care of my eyes more. But I only did two Grace and Stella under eye masks. Um, wow. Um, this past month. And I need to do more considering I bought a box of 48 of them for 20 bucks off of Amazon. So anyway, that is my June empties. Um, now that I've like touched everything and, and brought it out, out for display and review... I guess I did do a pretty good job. I always try and do enough with the masks. Um, maybe not as much this time with the smaller samples. I am a beauty sample junkie. What can I tell you? I know that there are some people that swear by certain items for certain routines, and I am not one of those people. I love the variety that I get with Birchbox and Ipsy, and I'm probably still going through stuff that I got from Allure or FabFitFun, which I haven't had in over a year, but I am definitely making my way through that, or they've ended up in giveaways. I want to make sure that they're in use by someone before they go bad or their date's their ex expiration dates come due. So this is another long one. This is the third one I've made this evening. So I apologize for being in the same outfit, but literally I just came home from work and decided I was going to do uh, a Kiki haul and friend mail. I was going to do a ColourPop mystery box. And now we have the empties for the month and I'll probably release them one day apart. Um, so <laughs> you all don't get sick of me. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for coming back to visit with me. I really do appreciate all of your support and your kindness. And I love getting the emails from you guys, too, and the, the comments down below and uh, messages on Instagram. It's just, I 
look at me, look at me. I'm just getting overwhelmed with love. So getting teary. So thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. I love you. I love you. I love you. So uh, see, I cry so easy. It's incredible. All right. I am going to let you go because <laughs> I've kept the fan off <laughs> for Celestial Rose. <laughs> And I'm going to go turn the fan back on. Um, so, everyone, have an excellent day or night or week. And be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I'll see you around the net. <laughs>